What is up, everyone? It's Ian from 64 Wheels, back with more diecast, and today I have a giant local toy show haul. So if you've never been to your local toy or diecast show, I really, really recommend it just because you can meet more collectors. You get a, a big variety of cars that you don't really get anywhere else on the planet, even through the online sellers like eBay, places like that. You just can't beat the variety in age and quality of cars at toy shows. It's cool because you get to see the car up close. Before you buy it, you are also in person. So a lot of times that leads to negotiation of cheaper pricing or bundling prices when you buy a bunch of cars. Um, it's just a really good time. I really enjoy it. Um, I, I have family. My cousins go. Um, this time a group of friends, probably like 10 local Hot Wheels buddies, we all went in separate cars. But then we all met at the show and we are looking for each other's like, you know, like, hey, if you see this, pick me up this, like this um, Oldsmobile's up here because I have the real version of that NASCAR. Um, so a couple buddies picked those up as they went through the show and that's cool. That's really nice. It's like collectors working together. It's like good, what like good things that should happen in the die cast world. So um, if you've never been to the shows, uh, they're pretty simple. Basically what it is, is it's just like a location of some sort. Our local show is in like a union hall and it's guys set up with tables that look like this full of cars there's bins whatever else and they're selling a little bit of everything so um i like loose cars especially older stuff i really like older stuff because it just has a different feel you can't buy it in the stores now they're usually metal on metal moving parts um rubber tires i mean they just have a different quality even the hot wheels like this Mer or mercedes this bmw um they just they're just a different quality a different feel than the cars that are made now and some of them are very valuable even though they might not seem like they're valuable so i'm um, like uh, i mean i have we'll go over everything but i got some really good deals and that's what i also like about the toy show is that you can negotiate and get some good deals for stuff and find stuff you've never seen before. So there's a couple cars here that I'm like, you know, I've never seen this car in real life. I've only seen it online or I've never seen it before in general. And you find cars like that at the toy show and it's so exciting just because... I mean, going through pegs and there's so many like leaks and different things going on now. I feel like when you go to the pegs, you already know what you're looking for. You've already seen all the cars. Whereas when you go into a die cast show and you see old cars, it's like I've never even seen this before only online you know i've never got to touch one i've never got to play with it so it's cool to see that from a collector standpoint just different cars than you're not used to seeing and it gives your collection a different variation because not everyone is going to have old die casts in their collection like this major at peugeot these were kind of hard to find in the united states they were only so sold at certain stores and not for a long time so to find one out in the like kind of random country with and being such mint condition for two dollars like it says right there is unbelievable because that's the price of like a mainline hot wheel or matchbox or whatever else nowadays so it's pretty cool to see that so i love digging through the bins i love digging through the loose bins i got a ton of cars and a great deal on a lot of this stuff so i highly recommend you checking out your local toy show getting online hooking up with local collectors and seeing what they do um, as far as events and shows and things go so um, let's go over this. I'm really excited about this. I know I just talked for like three or four minutes about shows, but I think it's good to set the baseline out there and then show you some of the cars. And I will go over what all this costs. So you have a good idea of what people are actually charging at toy shows, because I feel like that's a big thing is like when you look at eBay, you baseline a lot of your prices off eBay. And I feel like eBay often isn't a real indication of the prices that you see online or in real life or only online. So We'll go over some of these, and um, I guess just let me know in the comments if you have questions or if you see other things or even we're at the same toy show. We probably even could have walked by each other. I don't know. So I guess I'm just going to start picking up cars and um, and going through them. So sit back and enjoy this because this, sh this should be fun. There'll be a ton of different stuff here and cars. I don't even know what they are because I haven't researched them yet. So this local show that I've gone to, it has switched locations over the past couple of years and this location is a little bit different, but now that they've had this location for a few years, most of the time sellers get the same location, like the same table in the, like in the venue. So I knew that there's this one seller and they always have older Tomica, Yatming, like all these cars in the plastic cases are from the same seller. They always have such good prices on pretty rare cars in the United States that you don't really see. So I like, as soon as I walked in, I went straight over there. So um, the first car I got from them is this 
like, I, I really like how he marks them too. It says, unknown maker, Toyota Celica with rubber tires, $3. And it is this like mint condition, like first gen Celica, second gen. It's got rubber tires. It's, I think it's a metal body, plastic chassis. It just says made in Hong Kong. And it has like a little bit of like a, almost like a rollback action to it, but it looks pretty good. It says Celica Turbo on it. I have no idea what brand this is, but I'm like for $3, that's super cool. Like, how could you pass that up for $3? That's less than half of the price of a new Hot Wheel, like, car culture car or Johnny Lightning or Greenlight or anything. And that car has a lot of, like, character to it. And that's a car that's not, that everyone is not going to have in their collection. So I really like that one. Next up is this Kidco 280Z. So this is a burning key car. And it says Magnum PI on the side, which is that TV show. I think they redid it, but this is from the original one. Um, so this is a burning key car. It actually had a plastic key that goes into it with the little spring. You might be able to see in there. There it is right down in the center. And then when you click the key, these shot off. So this was some kind of Magnum PI tie-in uh, because it is branded as such. So I just thought that was kind of cool. A, because I like um, TV and movie cars, but it's an old school Datsun. I'm like, that's kind of cool just in general. Even though it didn't come with the key, I have extra keys somewhere. So I thought even at $3. So when I see prices like that, like $3. So even if this was on eBay or Facebook Marketplace or something for $3, then you have to pay tax, then you have to pay shipping, and then you have to wait for it. So to find it at a show for $3 is extremely affordable, really. Even if it's a little beat up, it's well it's well worth the price. So um, next up, I'll go over these three. Oh, well, let's do this one. So I had this one as a kid. And this is an excellent casting. So this is a Majorette 300ZX Turbo with opening headlight doors. And I paid $3 for this, which I thought was also a great deal. A lot of these cars are very close to mint. This one has a few wear scratches on it. Um, but I love Majorettes, like the old Majorette and new Majorette has like really good suspension to play with. It has opening doors. This is a metal body, metal chassis car. And the cool thing about this is that the headlights pop up. Like, do you see that? So you put them all the way down. Then when you press on the front tires, they pop up. Like, I know it doesn't look like a lot. Let me see if I can get it to open up a little more. There it goes. Like, how cool is that? That actually has opening headlights, though. Like, cars nowadays don't even have that. That is so cool. So, again, for $3, I feel like that's a really solid buy to add to your collection. So, and it comes with this little case. So I can, like, have somewhere to put it, which is nice. Okay, next up are three. Did I have another one? I thought I had another one. There it goes. So I like Yapming and um, like some older brands. I thought they had really good castings and some of them got like knockoffs. But here are three different Mercedes. So we'll go through. This one's a Yapming 350SL. Again, I paid $3 for this. Here you can see the chassis. This one has a little dirt on it, but it has. Does this one have opening doors? No, this one doesn't, but I think one of the other ones does. Um, but it's a really good looking Mercedes. It's not too bad. Again, for three bucks, I think this is okay. Like, I like it. I was okay paying that price. I probably could have, I don't, I mean, I probably could have negotiated it down. But when you're at a toy show, $3 for something is, is fairly cheap anyways. Same thing here, 350 SL. Like, this one is, looks a little bit better shape. It's got a nicer color. It's still got the tow hitch on the back, though, which is important. Really nice car for three bucks. So here is a Corgi version. This one has opening doors, and I paid the same price, $3 for this one. And look how nice this is. Corgi, like, this is a nice casting. It's got a little dog hair on it. There it goes. And it's painted nicely. It's got a red interior. The door's open. And they fit nicely. Like, look at that door panel gap. Not too bad. Again, $3. I will buy that all day at $3. I think that's a pretty good deal. So... Okay, let's look at some more here. So this one is a Road Champs 57 Chevy with opening doors. I don't think I had this one when I was younger, um, but I thought it was cool enough that I wanted to buy it. It's a, got a, good, a nice looking body, like the sculpt is nice, like the actual molding for the car is nice. It has very little wear to it, like just a little bit on the headlight there. Other than that, a lot of cars from toy shows just need like a wet wipe or some just like a cloth taken over them just to get some of the dust off. You can see 1984 on the base there. This is a decent looking car. They almost look like Hot Wheels, like black wall wheels. Let's see if I can get this door open without ruining it. Let's try. Some of these doors are pretty tight. So there you can see the door opens. It's got an okay interior. Still a separate like uh, steering wheel piece, which is better than what cars have not, like today have. 
And that's not a bad car for five bucks. That one's a little pricey, but I think I'll have to check the price online. Like I haven't price checked any of these online, but I'm, I'm sure I got a good deal on that one. So this one is cool. I bought these before. This is a Road Champs Buick Riviera for $3. So this one is cool because, hey, it's just an obscure casting. Like they, how many of these, I think Road Champs is probably the only people that made this and it has a removable convertible top like it looks super dorky but it's such an obscure car i was like i could not pass it up so the door is open it has a detail interior it's even got like a patterned roof and that roof does pop off and it's kind of i don't want to say it's rare but i haven't oh watch me like mess this up I'm trying to shut it oh how did i do that is it gonna go back in oh no oh there it goes okay um, I have actually had two of these cars before and they didn't have the top with them. So to actually find it like loose with the top, I like I hopped on that. It's such a weird casting, but I love obscure stuff. So I will take it again. Three dollars. Not a bad deal. So next up, this says unknown maker Porsche Audi three dollars. So I looked at this one before I bought it. I don't know the brand on this one yet. Um, like it says, it doesn't have a brand on it anywhere. Um, I don't know if that's a real brand either, but it looked cool. Like it has a driver. I think it might be missing the steering wheel, which is what that hole is for. I'm not sure, um, but it looks cool. It's very vintage. This one probably isn't going to be everybody's thing, but I like it just because it's old and it's unique. So I thought $3, not too bad on that one either. Like some of these I know are worth way more than $3. So here is a Tomica Subaru Sambar, this little Subaru truck. Look like, how cool this is for three bucks. You can't even get a, a like a modern Tomica for three bucks. So let's see, does this have a year on it? Um, let's see. I don't know. This one is a little bit more modern, I think, but it's still cool. Like, look at that. And I think the door opens in the back and everything. Like for three dollars, come on. That's super cool. I really like that. Win. That's a win in my book. Okay, let's see. I got some... Rolls Royce. So is this a Bentley or Rolls? So this is a Z Toys Rolls Royce. This was three dollars as well. They really have the three dollar theme going going hard. So I think it might have a um, like a Rolls Royce badge broke off the grill. But other than that, the two door looks awesome. Like I like it. I just old cars just to me have a different, just like a different vibe to them. So I also want to talk about this just a little bit. A lot of older cars. Oh my bad. Um, have an axle keeper that's just like that. And a lot of the axles will pop out and they will rub the wheel wells. The same thing happens to a lot of the Ertl Dukes of Hazard cars like the um, Chargers and police cars. All you have to do is get a little tool, like a basically like a pocket screwdriver and just pop that back up over that like that and it will be fine. So I always check that out. I'm like, okay, I'm not worried about that because I can fix that. But other than that, this car is going to present pretty well. A lot of character in that. Okay. So here's another one. Yatming Phantom 6 with opening doors. $3. Look how cool this is. It's got some extra, a little bit of metal right there. A little bit of quality control needed bumped out, but I like it. Again, it has a lot of, like, what is the word I'm looking for? Just uniqueness. So right into here. Let's see. Should I should I try opening the door? It's not bad. Oh, bright hand drive. Look at that, gangster. Phantom Rolls Royce. I like Yatming stuff. That's cool. Some of these I think might have had the like. I don't think that's factory. I think someone did that, but I don't mind it. Like when someone customizes a car like that for so cheap. I mean, it's three bucks. I don't care. It just adds a little bit more character to that model so next up a major again three dollars citroen with opening doors so this one has a little bit of wear on the tires but it's a cool casting i think i have a matchbox version of this somewhere um but uh majorette had really nice tow hitches so it's got a really nice metal hitch and it has this keeper where you basically put the hitch over it and then it won't pop off because these plastic tabs keep it down which is cool but this car looks great it's got opening doors really nicely detailed like look at those seats luxurious it's got the dash i mean it's nice it's a nice looking car again these are metal on metal a lot of old cars um anything like basically past the 90s are metal on metal and they are i mean they're heavy it's a cool looking car for three bucks 
All right, let's see what else I got for $3 at that dude. Um, okay, so I know I got these. This is a Kidco Trans Am with opening hood. Oh, is this one taped? Oh, this one is taped shut. I don't know if I have. Let me see. Oh, I do have a tool. All right. Zoop. Let me cut this off real quick. Watch me, like, cut my finger off live. All right. So I love the Bandit Air Trans Am. I think this one has had a little, like, I don't think that's factory, like the little white marks on it, um, but I don't mind. It actually makes it look like a 76 Trans Am. Um, but this is a good body. Like, it looks good. It's got a good sculpt. I think the, is the hood open? I think it said opening hood, didn't it? Let's check it out. Oh, there it is. Look at that. It did it for us. Look at that engine. It's definitely not a V8 or a turbo V8. What is that? It almost looks like a... I have no idea. Does that look like a Trans Am engine, though? But this is cool that it actually has an opening hood. The sticker is pretty good quality. Like, it's still stuck on. It's not lifting up. It has a detailed interior. T-tops look good. It's got a little red painted on the back, again, which I don't mind. It looks like it came factory, so even if it's not, I don't care. So you can see those same type of app axle keepers there. But, man, cool car. Okay. You two put that back right in there. Okay. So then I got another one, and this is a Z Trans Am, which I believe... Oh, no, this is actually a 79 or 80. Again, metal body, metal chassis with moving parts for $3. Look at that red interior. A lot of these cars have red interiors, which I really like. It's even got the plastic like over the T-tops, which look real. Like, look how much detail is on that for being how old that is. The bird has got a little age to it, but other than that, it's not bad. I really like older Trans Ams. It's got a little bit of a ding on the hood, but I like it. To me, can't beat it. Three bucks. Oh no, that one was two bucks, even cheaper. Okay. I already do that one um oh no this is a different one. okay oh man for some reason you taped these i don't know why these are taped and the other ones weren't because to me these are I mean, these aren't like super expensive ones or anything Whoop. nice so this is a yapping it doesn't have the bird on the hood which is interesting got some scratches on it but it's a nice casting it's got a metal grill insert opening doors this one actually has metal t-tops like it's not molded in there i love the opening doors on this stuff this casting looks pretty realistic other than the wheels it's not bad it's got the squishy suspension which i like yapming i really like yapming stuff okay cool how much was that three bucks so all that i mean i can buy this this and this for the price of like one green light, which I would take. I like the older stuff, so I would pick that. Okay, so then they also had um, a table with, like, certain dollar cars. So I got this Subaru, this um, WRX or STI, whichever it is. What do they actually call this? I know it's an Impreza. They just called it Impreza. Subaru Impreza. So this is a plastic body metal chassis version, and I think this is a more rare version. Like, I think this goes for, like, at least 5 or $10 on eBay, um, and I got it for a dollar which is cool because it was just in some dump bin and because it was in a dump bin and it has a plastic body, you don't have to worry about it being like scratched or chipped up. It looks pretty good overall. So probably a little like wet wipe and it'll clean right up. So, oh, I got a couple more. I forgot I got this one at the uh, booth too. So this is another, this is $2 and this is a kid code. This is the same as the, uh, what was it? The Magnum PI version, but this has more of like the BRE style paint job tough wheels kidco racing so i picked that one up just to have the matching one because i thought that was pretty rad two dollars not bad so okay let's see what else i got here so from that same area oh i did get this um and this is cool this one i paid twelve dollars for and this is a shift kicker so this is from mattel this is not actually a hot wheel i think i did i think i uploaded a little short uh, YouTube reel or whatever um, about this car, but these are really cool. I wish they would do stuff like this. Um, this is a late 70s Thunderbird. In real life, these cars are monstrous and they have like, uh, like probably like 150 horsepower and weighed like a million tons, but it looks cool in this version. So how these work is they have a little mechanism inside and a little shifter up top. So what you do is you wind the wheels up. Oh, you got to pull the shifter down first. 
like that. And then you wind the wheels. And then when you hit the shifter, it takes off. So these, I mean, these are so cool. They had, I think, four or five different versions of um, the shift kickers. Am I saying that right? Yeah, shift kickers. Uh, but these are cool. I really like that. Like, look how much character and, like, just age that car has. It looks so cool. I wish they made stuff like this right now, like, with the shifter. That's so killer. Okay, I like that one. Next. Next. All right, let's see what else we got. Okay, so at that same table that I got all the plastic carded ones, I got these as well. So I'll just go through because I don't want to take this, make this video take forever. Um, but this is a Yatming Maserati Bora. And I thought that was really cool. Some of it, I mean, there are some tampo wares, but I don't care because the rest of it is in such good shape. But it's cool to see that. And then this one is one I had as a kid. Um, the Malibu. This is a Yatming as well. What do they call this one? The Street Rat. Here it is. I mean, it's cool because it has opening doors and it does have like a little bit squishy suspension that you can play with. I like this one. This isn't also an expensive one online. This goes for like $10 to $20, I believe. So it was cool to find it at the toy show because I had this as a kid. Next up, I have a million of these. I love buying these because I collect these cars in real life, Dodge Monaco's and Plymouth Furies. So it was cool to see this one. This is an old Yamming one. It says Dorge on the bottom, if you can see that right there, D-O-R-G-E. Um, so they spelled it wrong, but they've made a million different versions of this. I already have this one, but it was so cheap. It was like $1.50 or something, so I got it. Um, next up is another Yatming. This is a 300ZX. This is one of the first generations. I think this car is awesome. Uh, they did a really good job on the body, body sculpt. It has a separate plastic piece for the inner. I mean, it just looks nice. It's got the little hood scoop for the turbo. I like it. Okay, and then we have a row of old formula cars. I think these are Yatmings. Yeah, these are Yatmings. Um, these two are full metal. This one's metal with a plastic base, um, but they're old formula race cars. Uh, this one's really old. These are probably late 70s, mid 80s, something like that. Um, this one's supposed to look like the John Player Special, and I don't know. That one's missing the stickers, but these were, I think, a dollar or two each, so I could not pass them up because they're too cool. All right, let's up. So this is a Yatming 66 Ford Fairlane 500 XL. I paid $3 for this. Um, overall, it's in pretty good shape. It has a couple dings on it. Um, this is another metal body, metal chassis, um, moving part, like opening door. There you can see a little bit of metal wear on it, but I don't care because this model is also expensive online. This is probably another $10 to $20 car, um, even in the condition that it's in with the little chips on it and stuff. So it was cool to find it for a three bucks at the toy show. Next up, another dollar bin car. Um, this one is a little bit more expensive. This is $5, which is a pricey for a toy show car, but the, the Supra, the Matchbox, I thought it was cool because it has the little lift gate in the back. It's in very good shape. It just needs some dusting. Um, overall, really nice buy. Again, five bucks, not bad. Even if I wanted it off eBay, I would pay more than that. So this is another good buy. This is the 20th anniversary Hot Wheels Ferrari Tessarossa in chrome. I paid a dollar for this. Um, this one is pretty nice. It just needs cleaned up a little bit, and I don't mind doing that. Um, I don't know how much this one is online, but I know it's more than a dollar because anything Ferrari Hot Wheels is more than a dollar. So I picked that one up because I thought that was cool too. All right, next up, let's see. So I got this um, little Sheriff Tomica. This is a vintage Tomica from probably from the 80s. Um, Chevrolet Chevy van. So it's an old Sheriff van. I have a couple old Tomicas and Z vans like that that I really like. This one's a Sheriff. Um, it is a little bit more beat up, but I don't care just because I like it and I don't mind the age. I think that character of it looking a little bit beat is cool. And I just like the old Tomica because it has like that bouncy suspension. Definitely, I think I paid $2 for that, maybe. Again, a good deal. Half of this stuff came out of a dollar bin. So um, here is a Ferrari 550 Maranello. I paid a dollar for this, which was retail, which is a price you cannot get it for now on eBay. Um, so that was kind of cool to find these. I really like this car in real life, so I try to pick these up whenever I see them, especially at a dollar price point. So I got two of them. I got a red one. The red one was $2 because red Ferraris are more expensive because everybody likes them. But again, these cars are basically mint. I don't see any scratches or anything on them really. Yeah, so to get them for $2, I don't care. That's that's a good deal all day long, and they look so good. So next up, I got another Ferrari. This is the Daytona. I don't think there's too many scratches or anything on that. 
Um, that one doesn't have a price tag, but I think I paid two dollars for that one. Uh, let's see. Hot Wheels Firebird. I was trying to see. I don't think there's a price. Yeah, no price on this one. I think I paid a dollar for it, but again, vintage black wall with the red interior. It looks okay. Like it doesn't have a ton of wear on it. It will clean up well and display well. I can't pass that up for that price. So um, also I got the Hot Wheels Camaro, the third gen. This was um, one of the, what was it? The, is an, or it was in the mid nineties. They, they had a line of these and I can't remember what they're called. It's not race world. Um, but this one has a few chips in it. I already have this car. I have two of these. I have one carded and one mint. So I thought it was cool to pick up like a play version, um, almost like a race used one. But the Duracell like livery on this is pretty cool. These old Hot Wheels like with the race line with those five star wheels. I like these. I tried to pick them up. And then for how cheap these were, it didn't like it, it's basically as much as a main line at the store. So this one was interesting because it doesn't have a brand and it has, I don't even know what that means, G Market Camaro, but it's a third gen Camaro. It's like a knockoff version, so it doesn't have a brand on it, but you can clearly tell that's what it is. Um, and I've had these cars in real life, so I like to pick them up. It's cool because I, it's surprising because some of these knockoff cars like this will be more than the actual like Hot Wheels. Like this car on eBay is probably more than this car just because it's so obscure and people that collect these cars look for the weird ones and that's a weird one same thing with this one i think this is the Ertl version yeah replica camaro z28 so you can find these but this is a pretty good condition i think again i paid two or three dollars for this not a lot at all and it is in great shape so that'll make a nice like look at those glass t-tops that's so nice um that'll make a nice addition to the collection um, let's see, this is $2 and this is the 335 challenge car. I thought this was cool. I liked the, the clear wing on it. I remember these, when these cars first came out, but I don't have this version and this was so clean. I'm like, I can't get this for $2 anywhere else. So definitely pick that one up next up. I think this was also a 50 cent or a dollar car. Um, an old matchbox Mercedes ambulance with an opening back door. Like how cool is that? I'm sure it's missing the stickers, uh, but I don't care because it was so cheap and it has that aged patina on it that's just perfect so also i think was this two dollars on this one the old bmw cabriolet i had this i believe in red when i was little but i thought this was like such a rad like 80s 90s paint job it is dusty but that's so easy to clean off like a q-tip and like a little like wet wipe or some soap and that cleans right up and this sucker is mint other than that so Two bucks, easy. This one was like 50 cents or a dollar. I just like, obviously like those older Trans Ams. And I think the age to this was pretty cool. Like I I basically bought it for the price of one main line. So let's see, does this one have a price? $3, this is the big boy. So this has a plastic chassis, metal body. Um, this is an older, I keep wanting to call it Mercedes because I see the M, but it's a BMW, the M3 convertible. This casting is sick with those really, really nice wheels on it. I love those vintage style wheels because it is vintage BMW and the license plate. Really nice casting. I can't remember, this might've been the Corgi casting. I can't remember if it is or not. I would I would assume it is just because um, of some of the dimensions, but I like this casting and it looks so dope. Like three bucks on that all day long. Very nice, okay. I'm another third gen Camaro. I think I bought this for 50 cents or a dollar. It wasn't bad, but I liked the splatter paint job on it because I had that when I was younger too. Oop, this majorette police car i think this was a dollar um, this is a lights and sound one this is a caprice or impala however whichever model it is i don't know if it actually says sonic flasher so then you press in this is old like this is probably from the late 80s and watch this it actually still works i don't know if you can see it it's trying it's like but it's awesome i mean it's mint i got that for like a buck how do you pass that up um, this Mercedes was a dollar. Uh, this nice SL convertible. Again, it's got some like dirt on it, but that cleans up so easy. So for me, easy dollar there. This was probably a dollar as well because it doesn't have a price on it. Um, this is another, this is a lockups from Kidco. So basically what you did is you stuck the little key in there and you locked it and it keeps the wheels from turning. Um, basically like to keep someone from stealing your ride, which is kind of cool. Um, but this does have rubber tires opening doors super cheap and a really unique kind of like piece of die cast history i love the like key stuff and like cars that do like weird things like these high rakers 
Um, these are pretty cool. These are from the Hot Wheels from, oh man, late 70s, early 80s that have the adjustable suspension in the back too, so you can adjust the rake, how the car sits, um, which is really cool. I got one of these. The Vet Van, which is cool because you can see the V8 parked behind the um, seats right there. Pretty rad. Um, the 63 Corvette with the same kind of axle um, in silver. They had a couple colors of these, but I picked these up super cheap. I think these were like two or three bucks a piece. And then the Dodge uh, truck, which is awesome. I've like this one, I've did a TikTok. Oh, I did a TikTok on and it's like really kind of like the axles very tight and I don't really want to bend the axles anymore. But this one is cool for all that character for two or three dollars to me can't be beat. So Next up, I think this is a Maestio. This is a more modern car, but I really like how clean it is and how vintage it looks. Like, I like those big rear wheels. Like, I don't think that's bad at all. I This was like, oh, it was a dollar. I was about to say, this was 50 cents or a dollar. This wasn't an expensive one. So, I like that. I like how that sits. Good vintage look to that one. Okay, next up is this Matchbox Ferrari. This is a Ferrari Testarossa. This is the world class. So, it's like metal body, metal chassis. It's got these chrome windows, these fat rubber Goodyears on it. Nice car. I paid $5 for this one, which I thought was reasonable. It was my, might be on the higher end for a loose one, but it was cool. And I just like, I was like, I got to take that one home. I like it. Whoop. Next up, uh, dollar. Look at that dollar for that RX-7. I think this is a Maestio or a Barango. I don't know. Usually if it's made in China, it's more modern. A lot of the older ones aren't made in China. Um, but look at that, like the defrost lines on the grill. Not a bad sculpt of that. It's kind of big. Let's see if you can take it to this like Corvette. It's almost like 150. It's a bigger scale, but it's uh, it's done very well. All right, let's see what else is up. Okay, this Kidco, or I'm sorry, Play Art Chevy Caprice. I have three or four of these um, police car versions that are black and white, and this is my first fire department one, and it's basically mint. It's got some dust on it, but this is a really nice car. I like how old this is, but how accurate it is. Like, it looks good, and I have the twin Sonic light bar in real life on one of my Plymouth Furies like that, so of course I pick these up every time, and this was only a few bucks, a much better deal than on eBay or anything like that. So these two cars, I think we're in the dollar bin, um, but they look like a... I think they look like an AMC. I think it's a Matador or a early Polara, like a 70s Polara. And you don't really see these often. So I have I have a mint version of this, but this one was a little beat up. And I don't have the sheriff's version or the fire version. So I picked both these up because you really don't see these too often. And especially getting both at the same time is pretty cool. So definitely bought both of those. Next up, you have the Majorette four-wheel drive i think what is this a toyota what do they call this they just call it a toyota four-wheel drive but it's cool because this is like i think it's in america this was the tracel wagon um but it's like the car i think it's like the car jesse drove first in breaking bad but it's cool because it has an opening tailgate again it has that tow hitch this one has a little bit broken off there but it was so cheap it didn't matter because you can see the paint corrosion it kind of looks like a real 80s toyota product so there's that one Next up, I think this one was 50 cents or a dollar too. It wasn't bad. Um, an old Matchbox Suburban, the K9 unit. I don't remember having this one. So I was like, you know, I'm going to pick this one up because I have a bunch of these. Um, it's got the tow hitch on the back, which I think they have changed that sculpt um, since then. I think I don't think it comes with that anymore. This one's probably a mid-2000s version um, because of these wheels on it, but it looks pretty good. All right, next up, the awesome Matchbox Daytona Turbo Z. This is such a cool casting. I had this as a kid. Metal body, metal chassis, opening hood with a semi-accurate engine underneath. It's even got a vent in the hood with a moving part. So cool. So I have a price two bucks. I paid two bucks for that. Got a little bit of bumper rash. But other than that, not terrible. Like, look how well that displays. So cool. I love it. 80s Matchbox are lit. So next up, what is this? The Play Art Lamborghini Countach. So this has opening doors. This was in the 80s probably at least um and the doors actually work like they actually work okay and they fit the body okay for how old this is and how cheap this was so let's see and the interior isn't bad this one needs clean too but like that door fits pretty nicely better than like some of the rlc doors are fitting on some of those this has separate red plastic pieces for the taillights so cool it's aged, but it's a good aged. All right, next up, the Tamika Pantera. 
This is a cool casting. Again, metal body. This has a plastic chassis, plastic wheels, but it does have a moving part in the back. Oh, look at that sweet V8. It's a nice casting. It's got like this does have some goobers on it, but overall it's not bad. I will take a wipe. Like there's a little bit of age wear on the roof, but other than that, it's not bad at all. It's really not. I, I don't know what these are going for online, but I know it's more than I paid for it. So speaking of Panteras, I also have this $2 vintage mask match box pantera with most of the stickers i don't think this one has a moving part um this is like a more hot rotted version it's definitely like you can see tomica has always been more accurate than matchbox but it's cool to have both because panteras are pretty rad hot wheels just came out with their version so now we've gotten what three or four versions of that and 164 scale and i think we'll be getting some more too so Next, we have the, oh, I just dropped the price tag. So this, oh, this was a big one, $5, the Toyota Runner. So this is a forerunner, uh, what, mid-90s probably? Um, but it, it looks good. It doesn't have too much wear to it. I'm sure it has some scratches somewhere, maybe. No, basically a minute, maybe around the mirror right there. So it's in pretty good shape. Uh, maybe a little bit right there, but I don't think I don't think it has a moving part. Like I don't think anything opens on this one, but it does have a metal chassis and the tow hitch right there, which is cool. But man, this looks good for five bucks. I like this. It's got separate headlight pieces that actually look pretty realistic too. Nice. Majorat. I like older Majorat. So I paid two bucks for this one, Mercedes three hundred TE wagon. So this does this have a moving part? Oh, it does. Look at that. The rear hatch opens and it doesn't open too much and I don't want to break it, but it does open. Um, it doesn't have a rear window. I don't think it's supposed to have a rear window because that's how you get it open. Um, this one still has the tow hitch. It's got the little Mercedes logo on the grill. Look at that. It's got a big one on the hood, which I'm not too big of a fan of, but the clear headlights, like they did a really nice job for these. That looks awesome. Does it have a year on it? It doesn't. Scale 163 and they have that bouncy suspension. So that's really cool. For two bucks, awesome. Uh, does this have a price? No. This is a Majorette Range Rover fire truck. So you, there you can see the seats and the equipment in the back. Um, it's got the tow hitch. Does this open? Does anything open? Nope, but it does have a ladder that's removable up top. And I think it's complete. I think that's the only part of the ladder um, because it does extend out. So I think it's complete. I don't think this was a lights and sirens one or a sonic flashers because it doesn't have it on the chassis. Um, but overall, it's a cool looking truck. Got metal headlights. Very unique looking. Okay, and then also, I think I showed this earlier, but this Peugeot, $2, 405 T16. This is cool. It has very little wear to it. It looks good. That roll cage, the interior is super detailed. I mean, it's got clear headlights. This is a great car. It really is. Like, look how detailed that interior is. Very nice. I like that one. That was a good deal. So next up, I got this. I think I paid $6 for this. If you know the prices of these Bigfoots, some of these Bigfoots are insane. These Hot Wheels um, Bigfoot champions, some of the wheels, like just a single wheel here because they pop off, can sell for $5. I have over 50 of these trucks. And as every time I see them for a cheap price, $10 or under, even more, um, a lot of times I just pick them up just because it's hard to find the tires. Like I have a bunch that are beat like this because this one is missing the little flagpole. They had like a little flagpole that's probably this tall that said um, Hot Wheels on it. And that's missing a lot of times. I, I mean, these trucks had such a hard life. Mine that had, doesn't have hardly any paint on it. I think it's part broken from when I was a kid. Um, but I have so many now it's I've made up for it. But that was an excellent deal for like five or seven bucks. I will buy those all day, every day. Next up, I think this was a dollar. Um, this was in the loose NASCAR bin. It's a Mark Martin uh, Thunderbird. Really like NASCAR stuff. So I picked that one up. In the same dollar bins, I found this. This is a Hot Wheels William F1 car. Like this is a kind of a rare find. It's like, I don't even know if they sold these in the United States. This is uh, just, I was like, there's no way this is a dollar. It was, it was in the dollar bin. They did not care. It comes with that Williams F1 team sticker. Um, it's in mint condition other than the package. So like if I was to open it, it would be fine. So I was like, that's so cool. I will definitely take that for a dollar. Next up, this was, I think a dollar too, or 50 cents or something. Um, it's the Toyota truck. Is it Toyota or Nissan? Does it actually say? It just says 4x4 open back truck. So this is from 
Um, it says it's from 81, but that's originally when it was from. But it's got that bright pink roll cage. I like this. I think it's supposed to be a Toyota. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I think it is. I like that extra tire that's actually a loose tire back there. Looks good. All right, next up, what is that? Oh, I probably paid $2 for that Toyota truck then. The FedEx truck, man, these, this actually comes off, uh, but like, especially because the FedEx, uh, like the action driver set I got, like I was looking for extra ones. This box is yellowed, but I bought this for so cheap. It didn't matter either way. So now I have another FedEx truck in the vintage Federal Express on there. Like I can get this orange off. Like I'll just clean that off. Um, I might do a video on cleaning cars. I don't know yet. Cool. And then I also got... Whoop. Here are three green light. These are hobby only um, base white police cars. So I got the 80 Chevy Caprice in white, the 80 Dodge Diplomat in white, and then the 80 Ford Crown Victoria. I think these are cool. I collect the Hot Pursuit line um, from green light and all kinds of police cars. So I thought that was really rad. I got these for, he was asking $7. And then I think I gave him 50 for all three so just a toy show deal as you know to bundle those together so all right go, moving up here i got this corgi goodyear blimp this was three dollars it's very vintage you can even see a string up top where someone had it hanging which is pretty cool um i think i have another one of these somewhere but this one i was like this one actually looks better condition than the one i got so i picked that up too this is one of my favorite ones. Um, this is a Leslie F Lesney Matchbox Ferrari. Um, it's four dollars, and it said "Cool Beater," and I just I thought this was so cool because it looks like a barn find Ferrari, and it has all the tires on it, which are missing a lot. It has those like old school wire wheels on it. It just has that such a great like barn find look to it. it. Has the old Ferrari logo, like you can still see the numbers. I mean, it looks so cool. I probably overpaid, like look at the, the, even the exhausts are off. Man, that's so cool. I don't care if I overpaid for it or not, like it's just uh, like that, I will do some diorama photos with just an excellent, excellent car. Okay, I'm gonna try to breeze through this. I know this video is taking a long time, but so this one is an AMT 68 Camaro. I tried to find this on eBay. I could not find it. Um, I've, I swear I've seen these cars online, but I, I could not hunt this one down. So if you have a link to this for sale somewhere, let me know because I I was having trouble finding this one because I did have to Google it because I'm like, I'm not too familiar. I mean, I have a ton of AMT product, like models, but I've never seen 164 scale. And it has all the tires because they appear to be separate. It does have an opening hood with a really nicely detailed engine. Um, it's even got a little like piece of cast still there where it was broke off the spruce, but it doesn't have a bad engine mold for how old it is. It's a, got a little bit of roof wear, but I won't even try to repair it just because I like the age on it. But I'm sure this is probably a little bit more of a rare one. I got that for super cheap. I don't, I don't even know. Everything I got here was pretty cheap. So next up, whoop, got the hardy's four car set of days of thunder race cars so these um were basically like hardy's style happy meals back in the day when days of thunder came out so there was a four car set i have some of these um but i wanted to get them like mint in package because i didn't like you don't see them a lot um and this guy had a bunch of them and i was like i'll take a set and i paid five dollars for the entire set so i didn't like that's not a bad deal at all so speaking of nascar um, I think I did pay $5 for these, um, 57 Chevy convertible. This has real riders like rubber tires. Um, I think these are metal body, metal chassis. This one might be a plastic chassis, but this is so cool. 57 Chevy convertible, um, old school NASCAR stock car. Love it. Here is Dale Earnhardt's Good Wrench Lumina. I have a bunch of these, um, but anytime I see them for a decent price, I pick them up because I love NASCAR stuff. So that, and then the Days of Thunder Lumina model, I got this for $10. This is new in box. Um, the box is a little torn up, but overall the model is all there. Like I went through with the guy, I, I was like, uh, are all the parts there? And he's like, they should be. And I looked it over. It's hard to guarantee it just by looking at models. Um, just, you know, through a few seconds, but I thought that was okay. So then uh, another buddy named Sam picked me up uh, this at a local toy shop. Um, he brought it to the show, but this one, it's got a little bit messed up tire, but just uh, display it from this side and it's got a little bit, but he only paid a dollar for this. So I thought that was cool because I have that car in real life. Then this one 
is pretty cool. This is somebody made the model and this is the actual Oldsmobile, not Illumina. Um, a lot of the Kodak cars are Luminas or Monte Carlo. So it was cool to find the actual Oldsmobile version because that's the one I have. But man, this thing is cool. Someone went to a lot of trouble to build it, but it's all like they spray painted everything yellow. And just like mine, it's funny. It has like the beater back bumper, but it goes like I can just glue it back on. So this was a good find. I think he paid a dollar for this. Uh, my dude, Gavin, um, grabbed it for me. So shout out to Gavin for finding this at the show too. Um, which is pretty cool because I'll like I'll just use that as a display piece. Then I got this Kodak whoop, trailer for a dollar. Um, it doesn't have the truck, but just the trailer because um, it was Kodak. I was like, I'll pick it up. It's a buck, you know, whatever. Um, then I got this sweet Mattel Mastercaster. It's hard to get out, and there's a lot of stuff in it. But this is um, Mattel's version of like the Make Your Own Hot Wheel. So back in the day, just like this, uh, where was it? The Shift Kickers. Mattel had their own line of stuff outside of Hot Wheels, probably just to make as much, like making a little bit more money off the Hot Wheels brand. So this cast like is a plastic melting machine that you made your own cars with. Um, it is complete. It's got some plastic like um, melted on the inside, but the guy said it did work. As far as I know, we went through everything um, and checked and it did have all the parts. So this was $25. He was asking 25 and I asked him if he would take 20 and he said, yes. So I picked that up, which to me was a pretty good price. And then I picked up two of these sets, these color FX. Uh, I had a ton of these at the show. I'm not sure if somebody like had a original case they opened up, um, but I did pay 15 for this. I didn't really negotiate the guy or no, I did actually, I'm sorry. Cause I bought two of them. I asked him if he would take 20 for both and he did. So the top one is really sweet because it's like like a military gun that is like the wiper and this one is like a paintbrush. I really like the 92 Camaro because this is the actual like what it comes off is like a skull and then the Hummer is like just the base color and it's got the gun on the roof and then it comes that's the paint job that you like you know it's like cold uh cold water or whatever and then it changes like how cool is that so then there are a bunch of the other ones and it shows what it is toxic waste and then they got the like skeleton camaro you got the t-rex ripping through the bars i mean some of these are really cool there's the hummer the tank isn't <laughs> it doesn't really it just like turns tan that one is sweet I mean, some of these are awesome. So uh, 10 bucks for both of those, I didn't think was a bad deal, especially like, look how cool that is. Really, really like those. So, um, and then next up, I might do an unboxing video of these, these Matchbox Battle Kings. So these were $5 each, which is an incredibly good deal. Um, these are pretty heavy. They're like little army sets. So they have people, they have like bases, weapons. Um, they're two exclusive vehicles, one of the Humvees with the military weapons on top and then another tank it's got i mean it's got so much stuff to it here on the back it kind of tells you a little bit more about it um they had a bunch right they had four of them i bought three of them and then my cousin bought one um and here's the island defense version that has a tank and a little battle jeep with a little like bunker just a lot of detail for five dollars like i couldn't even get that new retail now for five dollars like that's a sweet deal so this one, it looks like that actually has a shooting cannon because it has those little notches in the missiles. So this one, I mean, this is pretty cool. Urban Patrol. I'll probably end up opening these. I don't know. I don't know what that moving part is, but that's, does it say on the back? I don't know. It looks awesome though, whatever it is. Yeah, I might have to do, let me know if you want to see a video on those because I'll be happy to do a video on those. So um, then I just got a ton of other NASCAR stuff. So I paid $5 for this uh, Dale Earnhardt Thunderbird, which I thought was cool because I don't have that Thunderbird yet. Um, I, for his Malibu 76, like that is such a cool paint job. Um, it's a little bit different from the classic like Black Intimidator, uh, Monte Carlos or uh, Lumina Zeddy drove, but I really like it. So $5, again, not bad. I think I paid two or $3 for this. This is cool because, um, in Richard Petty's last year in 1992, they did a fan appreciation tour in every track um, on the Winston Cup schedule that year had a Richard Petty car. So it has the logo on the hood. And I thought this one was extra cool because it's North Wilkesboro, which they are revamping. And I think will host the all-star race, the NASCAR all-star race next year. So I was like, North Wilkesboro and Richard Petty, boom, bought. Then I found this other Monte Carlo, this uh, Kodak one. So I've been buying all the Kodak ones. It's cool on this like actual Hot Wheels card because uh, I don't remember seeing these 
in stores. This one might actually be like a a non-retail version. I don't know because it's an extra nice card. Um, I just don't remember seeing them in stores when I was buying those back in the day. And, right, it's hard to show you this, but this lady had a bin of NASCARs and they were a dollar each. And there are so many in here like there's a kodak oldsmobile that also my dude gavin bought um i mean there's just like there's some vintage trino taldegas there's just all kinds of stuff and i found those for a dollar each and i want to show you this one which i might do a write-up on this one um but this is kurt bush's 2002 i believe it was um four tourists sponsored by little tykes and it looks like the cozy coop like how cool is that he actually won the race in this car um, so if you go online and Google it, you can see different um, pictures of this car, which is awesome. I really like that one. And then a couple other notable ones. I really like this Virginia is for lovers. Uh, Lumina, this is Matchbox Lumina, back when Matchbox had the NASCAR. I really like the Luminas, the Matchbox, um, because the Days of Thunder ones were this casting. The best Days of Thunder ones were this casting. So I just thought that was a really dope color combination and stuff. So, I mean, there's just, I got another, like this was a dollar. All these were a dollar. This Dale Earnhardt Dodge Charger from back in the day. Um, I got some more Richard Petty. I got a Richard Petty uh, Monte Carlo from back in the day. Oh, let's see what else. Got me a Sterling Marlin Kodak Monte Carlo. That's a Hot Wheels. The Hot Wheels ones are really nice. Same thing, I got a couple more Richard Petty. I mean, I could just go on and on. I got 48 of these um, for a dollar each. These cars... When these were new, they were anywhere from two ninety nine to like four ninety nine. And when I was talking to the lady, what's funny is I was like, I'm gonna buy. I was like, I'll buy basically all these. And I just went through and bought a bunch. And she's like, you know what's funny is when these were carded. She's like, no one. She's like, no one cared about them. And I was like, I, uh, I'll buy them carded or loose or whatever. She's like, well, buy as many as you need. So we just like, I just was like, I'll take this one, this one, this one. And we just kept filling up my bag. And she like, I mean, she gave me a good deal on them. I think she threw in a few extras for free too. But these were all dollar just really good purchases so oh my bad i know that was a really long video and it was just me rambling on about like toy show finds but it shows you a really good price point about all this stuff like this dale and her car online is more than five dollars but at toy shows like nascar stuff is like almost free like it's crazy nobody wants it but i love it so i always buy it i mean there's just such a wide variety of things so now that you saw my toy show haul, I think that was it. I might have left a few things out that I forgot about. But let me know what your favorite thing was or if you want to see a bigger video on some of the products like the Mastercaster or if you want to see me open these Battle Kings or anything like that. Let me know because I'm more than willing to do videos on anything we saw here um, because I'm going to do write-ups on some of the stuff, I think. Maybe the Shift kicker, Kicker's Car the Formula One. I don't know. I'll figure it out. There's so much good stuff, but I really appreciate you watching, sticking through. That was almost an hour of just going over vintage products. So I, I hope you liked it. I can do more toy show finds. Um, if you have any questions about local toy shows, let me know. Um, I can also, the one I go to, I can't link because they have no type of social media or um, website or anything like that. It goes by a postcard. They send you that you put your address at the show and then they send it out. So um, I can post a date on my social media if anyone is interested for the next one. Or if you have some to share in Ohio, Indiana, Kentucky, um, even Tennessee, let me know because that's like kind of within my driving range of a day or two show. So I uh, really appreciate you watching. Sam 64 Wheels, I can subscribe, all that good stuff. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Langley Group, Discord, and whatnot. All the links are down in the description. If you want to see more of any of these, please let me know. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Ooh.